We are gathered here now in Washington, D.C., where we await to hear President Millard's candidacy speech for re-election. My fellow Americans it was not too long ago that we were united, fighting for our freedom against Great Britain, to become our own country. Yet now, we find ourselves divided as a nation. We are separated by our conflicting points of view on slavery. First and foremost my priorities are for the welfare of the people of the United States of America. My decisions are for your best interests. I realize though that by trying to accommodate everyone's needs, others are opposed to my policies. My intentions when I had signed the Compromise of 1850 were to appease abolitionists opposed to slavery, while the Fugitive Slave Act was intended to appease those who were pro-slavery. However since enforcing the acts many incidents have occurred in which I've supported treason charges against slaves or persons accused of killing slave owners. When I signed the bill into action I considered the bill a triumph of inter-party cooperation that would keep our union intact. All that I can say is that not all my policies have benefited everyone and, upon my re-election I intend to correct them. The nourishment of our nation is in our hands, let us bring it forth. With my track record as a representative for eight years, overseeing the Senate, and being your president for two years, I'm your best choice for this election. If you want the best presidential candidate in office, there is no better man fighting for the unification of our nation. Vote for Millard Fillmore for president.